In our first episode, we kicked off with some incredible fishing and after a long 25 km paddle across Quiet Lake, found a beauty camp spot on Sandy Lake. The next day, we made it onto Big Salmon Lake and onto the river, where we had to negotiate our way through several log jams. Finally, on day four, we tackled the last log jam, portaging the canoe without a yoke through bug-infested greenery before getting an appreciated opportunity to splash and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Welcome to part two. <laughs> Morning everyone, it is 6 a.m. day five. I believe the mosquitoes are hungry, so I guess I should go feed them. So the temperatures dropped quite significantly today. I think maybe that's what's uh, keeping the mosquitoes at bay. So I'm grateful for that. I don't mind being a little colder. You know when you have a song stuck in your head? <laughs> oh my god, what is wrong with me? It's stuck in my head. That or Baby Shark, you know? I think the old girl needs a wash, eh? If we have time, if we have time. Day five, um, feeling good, physically good, mentally strong. I haven't seen anybody since day one on Quiet Lake at the start, so that's great. I don't feel lonely. I, you're so busy as well all the time doing something, you know, by the time from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep. I brought a book along, I haven't read a single page yet. I hope we can make uh, good progress today. At this moment, we're about 100 kilometers down and we have approximately 270 kilometers left, so significant distance to cover. With that, let's get going. Get off me. Yes. yes, we're free, we're floating. Alright, 8.30 a.m. Let's go guys. Put in some kilometers. All the conditions are good. Hey little guy swimming against the car. Where are you going? <laughs> Beautiful. So significantly cooler temperatures today, which are welcome. Good for paddling. Quite a few rocks here, I'm just going to scout quick. Ah, uh, there's a light blue gun. Nasty rock over there. That is a problem if you hit that. And that one. Stuff like that, that could be really, really pro problematic, so gotta stay on your toes here. Just to get a sense of how remote we are right now, we are over a hundred kilometers away from the road where we started, and I believe at least 150 kilometers northwest of the next potential takeout. The next human being closest to me could be well over 50 to 100 kilometers away from me right now. If that's 50, let's say 50 kilometers one way and 50 kilometers another way, that's 2,500 square kilometers of area that I could be alone in right now. That's mind boggling, that's amazing. There's a tiny stream here. Just wanna have a quick fish, let's give it a go. Ooh, nasty rock. Nasty rock here. Yeah. So I've decided to name this canoe Bethany. I don't know why, it just that name came to me. So 
thing about Bethany is she doesn't like to be overpowered. She's very fast and very responsive. But if you try to muscle her too much, she will lose control. And that's why I think Bethany and the Bending Branches Beaver Tail are an ideal companion. The Beaver Tail is gentle, doesn't have too much power, and those two combinations are fantastic. And just like that, we covered 10 kilometers in about an hour and a half. Just starting to rain a little bit. Today I have to watch it because it is significantly colder, so the rain is uh, more threatening. I'm gonna be proactive with this and put on the rain gear now. Yep, rain getting heavier. Definitely the right call here. Okay, we're gonna be a bit wet for a while. I just hope this doesn't bring thunder as well. It might do. No wind, so I'd rather keep going. Looking much brighter. Looking good. Beautiful. What a place to be. Sun's coming out behind me. Ah, oh, that's a nice feeling. Oh, yeah. Stretching a bit. We'll try and steady ourselves here in the eddy and fish out that way from the canoe without disturbing too much. All right, let's give it a try. tour of the lunch stop water boiling food prepping over here we got a drying area over here and our power generation area over here solar panel is kicking right now charging drone and uh, power bank and while that waits I'm going swimming
Well, as always, I tend to overstay my lunch breaks. How could you not with this beauty and the weather like this? I mean, the forecast was saying for potential for thunderstorms later in the day. So I don't want to get lulled into a false sense of security here with the good weather. Uh, that's a big log pile. Luckily, I don't have to portage. There is definitely change in the air. I can feel it. Winds picking up. Clouds are appearing. Ay ay ay. Shouldn't be stopping, but I can't resist. I'm going to try. Have a little fish. See if I can eddy out here. The time that I'm going to uh, lose by fishing here, I'm going to gain by not having to filter water as I'm going to gather uh, about 3-4 liters from this uh, fresh source and avoid having to filter later, which will take me easy 5-10 minutes. 2 more liters. I'm rich, baby, I tell you. I'm rich. Look at this guy. Beautiful fish. Let him go. Beauty gray leg! I said last cast and I uh, did an extra one. You see, you always have to lie to yourself and when you say last cast, just keep going. One more after that. Last one, we gotta go. Well, absolutely beautiful creek. Wow. Fresh water. That makes me very happy. Well, South Creek was absolutely beautiful and now the weather is fantastic again. I hope it lasts, but man, am I glad I stopped with a beauty grayling. Man, so beautiful. This trip just keeps getting better and better. Sorry, beaver tail paddle. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Now that's an impressive way for a tree to get stuck, huh? Okay, I just heard thunder. Quite a loud one. Hmm. I'm gonna try and keep pushing so I can just stop for the day once. I don't want to stop and put a tarp up or you know all that kind of stuff. And the massive clouds just ate up the sun. That's what's coming. I mean, there's some patches of blue and stuff. It's not terrible. 3.25 p.m. right now and day five. And I've realized that every single day I've gotten into camp past seven o'clock, I think every day. So I'm gonna have an early camp today. Well, I was contemplating stopping uh, early today, but conditions are too good to pass on right now. Oh, it's raining like heavy rain now out of nowhere what the heck is this gonna come with thunder too i don't know i'm gonna stop here and wait a sec i think it's just a shower but what the hell man things change so quickly i'm not stopping i raise your bluff yukon famous last words i promise you it's gonna stop you'll see Every time I get arrogant, it starts raining heavier. <laughs> like Yukon telling me, don't be cocky, don't get arrogant.
I'm way too relaxed for this situation. No, something's wrong. It's because I feel, I see like some blue sky, patches of blue sky and stuff. So I don't know. And I think it's over. That looks better, what's coming? Just mad, undecisive weather. It changes very quickly from one minute to the next. I think the sun wants to come out again. Yay! I was honestly maybe 30 minutes in total from raining to sunshine again. I think I'm enjoying paddling this section of the river so much that I don't want to stop. Even when the rain comes, I, I just want to keep going. It's um, really enjoyable today. I'm in the mood to paddle, you know? I don't want to set up camp now. That was behind me. Almost 5 p.m. and I found a little spot that I can't pass on. It's too nice and with the unpredictability of the weather. I'd rather just set up base now. And I think I covered a good distance. I'll put the distance somewhere here. Come, I'll show you around. So here's my spot. So this is actually an island, little tiny island. You can see the river here splits, river right and river left. And this is gonna be my spot somewhere there. I'm gonna pitch my tent. I'm surrounded by water on both sides. And it's really open, so I'm hoping the mosquitoes won't be as bad. And it's like an island as well. It kind of gives you that sense of potentially false sense of security, but it does give you a feeling of that uh, you're like a, in a moat, you know, protected by water from both sides. It is definitely coming. Oh boy. Where's the freaking light? Yeah. Come on, just give me five minutes. Five more minutes. Try to dry stuff out and as soon as it dries, it gets wet again. Oh man, what shenanigans. I need to do the fly, that's what I need to do. That's my fly. Oh, you try to rush, eh? Everything takes more. All right, stuff that kind of get wet. You mean my clothes bag? Hopefully you can go in. I'm in trouble here. Oh shit, ducky. Oh boy. She's coming. Woo! Shit, where's my rain jacket? Idiot, what am I doing? Who cares? Food barrels are fine. That can get wet. <laughs> oh, Mama. Whoa, Mama. Everything under control. Camp is set. Trying to let things dry out a bit. What a gorgeous spot. I'm loving my camp. Absolutely loving my camp right now. So what I'm gonna do also, I'm gonna back flush the filter with uh, clean sterilized water. Fill up the syringe. And take that cap off. See that little hole there? I like to use my body to press hard against it. There. I wanna do that a few times. That pushes water through and any bacteria or 
gunk or whatever get a chance to get out and it prolongs the life of your filter and uh, the speed of the flow. And last but not least, I'm trying my sleeping bag using my tripod at its maximum setting. Oh yes, and a little bit of sunshine. Look at that, a tiny bit of that. Like give me half an hour and everything will be bone dry. That's the spirit. I think some rain is on the way very, 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 very soon. Got to pack everything away. There's very little, very little uh, doubt in my mind that this storm is coming right now. This one feels like it's going to come straight through uh, and it's going to be big. My luxury item, the water flosser, I can't live without this thing. About 15 seconds, so... 15, four and a half kilometers away. That's that's close. That's coming quick. Woo, it's gonna be a good one. Whoa, one, two, three, four, five, six. Here I'm messing around with this flosser while the <laughs> storm of a century is coming, man. Oh, shit, I didn't wash my pants yet. Damn. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's gonna be intense. I promise you that. Just at the outskirts. Look at the sky getting so dark. Wow. And take the food barrel a bit further away you can feel it in the air it's starting to rain let's see what comes of it i think i feel like we're on the outskirt we're not in the eye of it 
Maybe not. Maybe let's just get in the tent. Whoa! Hello, wind. Hello, wind. Hope the canoe is safe there. I didn't tie it down. Hopefully, it doesn't fly away, huh? That'd be crazy. is even dangerous. I can roll. I'm gonna get rid of that fire man and just chuck at least the big ones into the river. And this. That won't go anywhere. That's it. That's better. I don't want any, any fires rolling anywhere. This is really cool actually. I'm really enjoying this. Whoa, raining bananas. Ow. Wow, holy Yeah, we're in the eye of it now. Wow, in the eye of it now. I'm gonna relax here, nice and comfy. Whoa, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About 2.5 kilometers away. Whoa! Holy crap. Freaking close! Wow! I love you, Yukon! I gotta say, this is amazing, guys. This is what inflates my uh, my mud. So it inflates your mud. Or you hold it, and it's a light. Or this. Or you can make it more intense. Or even more intense. Absolutely amazing. We camped here yesterday. We went all the way here past Bat Creek and fished, caught that uh, grayling on in South Creek. Carry on, carry on, carry on. We're currently camped over here. So the map says day five, 33 kilometers, 131.6 in total. And this number over here is the average kilometers per day that we need to do for the next eight days in order to do 235 kilometers remaining. What exactly do we make of this tomorrow? 
<laughs> thunderstorm, thunderstorm, thunderstorm. We'll see how it goes. Seven oh two guys, pretty good. Day six. Let's go. Morning beaver. Oh man, those beavers were absolutely beautiful. What a way to start the day. Beautiful animals. Refill the water and try my luck at fishing again. Beautiful creek again. These creeks are just so beautiful, each one of them. This is so much better than filtering water, man. I hate filtering water. Oh, I had a chase right up to there. Fish. Yeah, got one. Gentle, hooks out. Beauty of barbless hooks. Beautiful fish. Let's release him. Yep, got one. Push on, baby. I think this one's a bit bigger. No! Lost him. Damn. Man. All right, let's try and recover the lure because I like that lure a lot. Under the tree, where is that? Not good. Success, I got it. And I think I fished my, I caught myself, but I got the lure. Woohoohoohoo! Ah, yes, I didn't want to lose you. Mwah. When you get yourself into that snag, don't keep pulling from the same side. Keep trying different angles and 
most of the time for me it comes out. Not too faced by me, going across the river, doing his work. Oh, bad idea, bad idea. You can see the log underneath. I wanted to go through it, but <laughs> I didn't see the log underneath as well. I would have cleared it, but... I don't know, take the chance. Another set of creeks to fish. See if we can catch lunch. Is that fish? I got a fish. I think I got a little one, yes sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Oh, look at this guy. This is a little one. So, oh. 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 <laughs> I almost caught him again. Oh. oh, he's there. It wasn't meant to be. It wasn't meant to be. I think that fish uh, lunch is going to have to wait for now. <laughs> Right, another creek. Let's see if we can catch our lunch here. Ooh. Whoa, maki, maki, maki. Oh, shitaki. Super maki. My feet are maki. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a good grayling. That is a fatty. I think that's gonna be eating, man. I think this is food. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this grayling, man. Wow. Hook comes right off. Whoa, that is a beauty grayling. I'm going to put him out of his misery quick. He doesn't deserve to to suffer in vain. But uh what a what a grayling. Wow. This is absolute beauty. Thank you for your life, buddy. And they're filleted now. This is my first time doing that. So it took me what feels like an hour. <laughs> I think I did okay. I mean, pretty nice pieces and uh, tried to waste as little food as possible. That's gonna be so tasty. Let's cook it. Mmm, yummy. Look at the corner of that. Wow. Look at the color of that. Yum. Look at this fish, man. This looks unbelievable. Unbelievable. That's the one, that's one of two. Here we go. First bite. Oh my gosh, that fish is so tender, yum, mmm, yum, it's a salt for sure, this is a 10 out of 10 right now, I'm not even kidding, 10 out of 10, oh, Wow, when you've been eating dehydrated food for so long and you have something fresh like this and protein, wow, beautiful. 
Thank you to the land of Yukon and the spirit of Yukon for feeding me. Just coming to a 1 p.m. on the move again. Let's make some progress. That's a big log pile. That's a total of nine viewers today. Absolutely incredible. All right, in good tradition, we're gonna fish every single creek possible. Here's a little one, let's give it a shot. Well, wind's starting to pick up. Things are starting to happen, I think, today. Another creek, another chance to catch a fish. Try it one more time. Little one, little one. Oh, not so little. Whoa. Whoa. Not so little at all. Beautiful fish. I'm, I won't hurt you, buddy. Put my hands first. Lovely little grayling. There he goes. Thank you, sir. Fish on. Fish on, baby. No, he's off. Ay, la, la. Oh, oh, oh. The most. Oh, fish on. Yeah. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, buddy. Beauty grayling. Four grayling for the day, two just from this creek. I'm throwing it in the current, letting it take it, and then uh, reeling it medium pace. Who's chasing? Chasing? Chasing! Fish on! Yeah. <laughs> I saw him chase it too. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, that's a good one. Well, that's a big grainy. Come on, I'll help you, buddy. Let me help you, let me help you. Wow. Okay, hooks out. Whoa. How is that for a grayling? Beautiful. Oh, bye, buddy. God. <laughs> All right, that's five grayling for the day. Three just from this creek. This is so much fun. All right, that's a snag. That's the end. We're gonna get in the canoe, try and unsnag it from the other side. Might be free. Is it? Oh no, that's bad. I'm gonna go to the eddy. No, oh, I don't wanna lose this lure. Come on, I've, I've caught so many fish on it, you know? I don't have one exactly the same like that, so it's gonna come out, come on. I'll be more careful next time, I promise. I think it's off. No, yes. Yeah! I snagged this lure over three times. Yes! You know the fishing's good when the fishing's good. Catching fish like that, you know, like almost every cast. Oh, what a feeling. All right, I really gotta put in some kilometers now before the thunder comes. This is gonna be a camp right here, right? Let me check it out. As great as this campsite is, um, I'm gonna pass on it because in the space of two minutes I've been bitten about five, six times by the mosquitoes and it's not even peak time yet so they're gonna get horrible at night and uh, I'd rather chance it and find more of an open space. Nice flow to the water! I need a bit more like this. Come on! Beautiful. Now 
lovely. Wow, look at that rock mountain. Amazing. Alright, it's about 4 p.m. and still looking for a campsite. I'm at the stage now that the next spot I find I should take. That sky to me says uh, ambiguous. It could be, it could go either way, you know? Found my camp spot. It's a sweet little spot. I like it, it's open. It's gonna do the job for today. Welcome. Doesn't look like much yet, but it's gonna be beautiful. Let me explain why I'm so excited about this place, okay? So first of all, we have a lot of hanging area potential here with all these uh, wood piles. Then our tent area is gonna be here and the sand is nice and firm. Good landing close to the canoe. Also, because the water flows fast around here, it deposits quite big rocks, you see? The finer stuff doesn't really settle, which means that for getting water, it's very clear. Lots of things going for it. Home. Just left my fly directly on top of a bush to air out and dry before I set it. Harnessing some energy. Tent is looking excellent. Beautiful space. For my sleeping bag, I'm using the Thermarest uh, Questar. It's, I've had it for three years and I absolutely love it. It's my first bag and my favorite. I think it's about time the old girl had a bath. Yes, Bethany, you're having a bath. I don't want, uh, uh, I don't want to hear it. So just started to rain, we set up camp just in time. Good call to stop when we did. See if we manage to boil some water before it really breaks out in, in case we need to eat in the tent, you know. Okay, ran out of time yet again. Holy shiitake. Oh man, I gotta go in the tent and cook from there. Woohoohoo! It's happening again. <laughs> Cool, let's go. I'm getting soaked here. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, this is Doji. Doji my Doji. Oh man. What else do I need? I need a spoon. Oh shit, I got a spoon. I forgot a spoon. here all day and now what an idiot let's go in the tent oh, shoot 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 is that boiling already that's boiling excellent that can be left there for now i can go there oh oh shit. oh my gosh dope man Coming down. Oh no, I had everything so tidy. Look at my feet. Oh, sand, nightmare to come in the tent with that. It's gonna be a big one again. It's gonna be a big one. I forgot the fork and the spoon. It costed me so much to go back for it. I had to go back. But I gotta eat with my finger if not. <laughs> this is living I have to dry off in, in here it's warm enough I'll, I'll dry off this is quick dry so hopefully I didn't forget anything that 
can't get wet out there. Sleeping bag far away from me right now. Bear spray can come off the belt now. Let's have a little peek. Oh man. It's raining like crazy. Hard rain. Stick my feet up, maybe the rain will wash my uh, sand away. Shenanigans camp, but we're okay. We got lucky today with the weather and everything, like the timing was perfect. We started early, so I think we covered quite a lot, lot of distance. We'll do that in a bit. Caught five graylings, three from one creek alone. Cooked a delicious one that was incredible. One of the best fish I've ever had. So nine beavers. What more could you ask, you know? And we managed to camp uh, just before the storm broke, you know? So grateful for that. Fantastic day. Now enjoying a warm meal. This one's a good one. High red carring. Look at that, there's a bit of blue sky there, no? At least the white clouds. There's hope. This is my chance to clean my feet and uh, put stuff away, kit away, clean that. Look how much water just uh, fell. I mean, that's a lot of water. In fact, that's drinking water right there. This is why I love crocs so much. You get them wet, get your feet in, do your thing, and they're clean in a second, and they'll dry in no time, you know? These rocks are so beautiful, look at this. Look at the color of that rock. And that one, these greens, beautiful. Just doing a quick experiment. See how much uh, electricity we can get from the sun here at 8 p.m. So I've set up, the sun's just coming out there. It's hitting not the whole panel. I've kind of rigged it <laughs> in such a way that I can just hang it from the tent. So 12 minutes to eight, and it's, it was 80% battery. Well, it's a shame because there's a, there's a tree covering the last of the light. So that's not a fair test now. So it's been exactly 16 minutes and, oh, that's pretty good, 85. That's more than I expected. Morning everyone, day 7, 6.30 a.m. The forecast today is not good for the day, so I really want to squeeze some kilometers out of today. So without further ado, let's get going.
Mm, prospects don't look too promising to go or to stay. Fly sheet's gone, so we are fully committed now to making a move. Have no protection from the rain, so we get wet, <coughs> we get wet, but at least we'll make some progress. This is my rundown of how I pack my canoe. So this is all camp stuff, sleeping bag, tent, two extra paddles wedged on the side, mapping waterproof case, bear spray, water for the day, all stuff that can get wet here. Frame of the chair, food barrel here, fishing rod goes on the side, all my electronics in a waterproof bag, it lifts it off the floor so it doesn't sit there in the water all day. With that, we are fully loaded and time to go. Eight thirty, not bad, not bad. Wanted to sleep in today. Didn't want to get out of bed really. <laughs> but how could you not with this beautiful place? How could you not get out of bed? Impossible. So beautiful. How could there possibly be a better way to travel than by canoe? This is the best, most enjoyable, most immersive method of travel that I know. Log pile. Log pile. Always a nice feeling when you have to flip the page over and you complete the whole page in the map. So at this point in time, we're 86 kilometers away from where this river, the Big Salmon, meets the Yukon River. From there, we should have another 114 kilometers into Carmax. I don't know if I've said this already, but I'll say it again. I'm so privileged to be here right now. I just feel like I'm realizing a dream, you know? Been thinking about this trip for so long, planning, and, and now it's happening, and I'm in the middle of it, and it's just amazing. Even better than I expected, so I couldn't be more grateful right now. And stream coming in, and stream coming in. The fact that areas like this still exist and are still pristine and beautiful gives me so much hope. This is the first time in my life I feel like I've been in true wilderness and God willing, certainly won't be the last. And always a nice feeling when the sun pokes out a little bit. Oh, hope it lasts for a bit. Well, with that little bit of sun, I, uh, I'm not going to pass on it. I'm going to try and squeeze some power out. Every little helps. Log pile. Log pile. Small trapper cabin, small trapper cabin. We've come to an interesting point. At this point, the South Big Salmon River meets the Big Salmon River where we are now. These two rivers are meeting here. Oh no, that's a snag again. Tell you what, that sun is kicking right now and so is the solar panel kicking out a lot of energy. Just charging three things at once. Power bank, drone battery, and uh, Garmin in reach. surviving that's all right 
Okay. Bit moldy. All right, while the food is ready, I need to undo this uh, snag. All right, settle down, settle down. Shoot, it's not happening. Yes, the line gone. Okay, it was good while it lasted. It's our new lure, it's like a bullet uh, spinner kind of thing. Oh, what a blessing when the sun comes out, I managed to do a little bit of laundry. The tent is completely dry, so it's a full reset. Excellent. Well, this is all the fresh vegetables that I have left and uh, they're about to spoil, so I'm just gonna do a quick uh, chop salad. A little bit of salt, just like that. And a little bit of sesame oil. As always, we've overstayed our lunch time. <laughs> When it's this beautiful, how could you not? You know, you want to progress while well, the conditions are good, but you also want to enjoy. So that was a great stop and let's continue on. Man, when the conditions are like this, it's hard to beat. So enjoyable. Mental note to self, it's about the journey and not the destination. Try to remember that. Some big meanders here. Check that out. See, as the crow flies, that would be like, I don't know, one kilometer, but in distance paddled, that's almost four times longer. Big, big meanders. There's a few gnarly clouds around, but there's also a ton of blue sky. But I did just hear uh, thunder somewhere in the distance. So this is warning number one at the moment that big bit of blue sky is coming our way um, so in the immediate term i think we're okay in the medium term we need to see how it develops and let's take a time out here and strategize i'm hearing more and more thunder Doesn't look very good. It's quite like I'm surrounded here. So sun is over there. It's about to come out because it's a bit of blue. But then there's that too. Now the sun's gonna come out there and it's gonna give me a false sense of security. It's not over. It's definitely not over. Let's keep going and um, just be on the lookout and be ready to set up camp uh, on the next spot if necessary. Ambiguous at best, I think. I just saw lightning far away. I saw that, that was about, that was like 35 seconds ago. I don't know, that's like 10 kilometers away. That's, it's not that far. I think I'm gonna stop here for now until I have more confidence to continue. Can't be on the water. I already saw the lightning. Sunny now, but it's happening quick. You wait and see. This sunny feeling. Ooh, no bullshit. False sense of security, man. I'm about to get slammed. The fringe of it. Look at that wind pick up. Oh, she's coming, baby. Just in time. at the fringe of it so I 
think it's gonna be nasty. In fact, I think I can see the rain coming right now. I can see the line of rain. Oh my gosh, it's coming big time. Look at that rain line coming. Oh my god, it's gonna hit. I gotta get in the I gotta get in the back in the tent. Yep, there she is. There she is, the line of rain. Nasty man. Oh man. The canoe's alright there. Gonna keep checking on the canoe. something this vicious this violent it was sunny and I could tell something big was coming man I was like I usually chance it but man this one was just written all over the wall just in time too just in time I think the winds all right now so if my canoe hopefully is still there we should be good and hopefully the tent can take the, the beating Wow, I wanted to feel alive and man do I feel alive right now, let me tell you. Woo! It's so loud you can't even hear the thunder happening at the same time. Oh my god, I'm so pleased I stopped when I stopped, man. Imagine getting caught out in this. In the water, man. It would hurt, these are big hailstones, man.
I think the eye of the storm has passed us, I think. Holy moly, man. What experience! Boy, do I feel alive! I had good reason to be worried about the canoe. Those wind speeds were crazy. Look at that. Look at this. So the canoe's there, but look, it moved. Can you see my stuff is, it was underneath it and the canoe did move. Rest in peace, tripod. Rest in peace. What a trip, what a trip, trip of a lifetime for sure. It's gonna be hard to beat this one. <sighs> Smells delicious now. The whole forest is wet and fragrant and so good for the land. Smells incredible. Oh, that smell is almost worth the storm. You can see the line of where I packed stuff and how the canoe slid about half a meter that way. I was super nervous because the water is right there. And Mr. Moron O'Clock here left the barrel open throughout the whole storm. Oh, shit. that was a stupid mistake, man. Ooh, that's a lot of water, just in, that's just in this little one, imagine the big one. Oh boy. I can't believe I left the barrel open. <laughs> Still love you, Yukon. Untamed beast, that's what you are. You're an untamed, untamable beast. <laughs> After all that today, drying shit out, man. <laughs> oh, what a joke. Well, we're gonna have to reconcile. This one wasn't so bad, luckily. the damage let's do good pile bad pile good pile good pile good 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 okay that's just my like toiletries and uh, a bit of first aid and stuff should be all right no water in there nice Got some pants that's fine my flosser she's okay we're good Barely any casualties, just my uh, my green juice is gone, but that's fine. I wasn't enjoying having it anyway, so that's a good excuse not to have it. Ow. These are my collection of rocks. My precious, my precious stones. <laughs> what is this place doing to me, man? I lost my mind. That's not a stone, that's a freaking chocolate. Yum. There's hope. The sun's coming out. Yay. And 
we're drying stuff again. I feel like we've done this before today, no? all my kids squared away the canoe is closer and I'll have a direct uh, visible line from my tent to see at least the tip of it just in case I did attach it to that stick over there which looks crap but it's actually been buried quite deep and it's a stronghold so that's pretty good who knows if we might have another storm or not mm hmm you know the saying the calm before the storm this is exactly that moment I'm pretty sure it's happening again. She ain't going nowhere. You know, in the mosquitoes defense, imagine how scary that kind of hailstorm would be. Mm -hmm. Here we are guys, our location on the map we are here and that's uh, total distance 24 and a half kilometers today. It's actually not bad given the conditions. <laughs> 